moving right along. Hey, Joey, can I ask you something? All right, as long as it's not about my chiseled abdomen. <clears throat> Actually, it's about your new CD, Soulmate. Oh, okay, sure, fire away. Well, I was just wondering how you got the chiseled abdomen featured on the back cover. Well, if you must know, it's from doing baby aerobics. Mm -hmm. The kind featured in this Crook and Chase highlight. Enjoy. Oh, please, Joy, can I just have one peek at your chiseled abdomen? I don't think that's a good idea. Charlie Chase showed me his. Yeah, but Charlie's ripped. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Coming your way on Talk Soup. She's been a bad, bad girl. She's been foolish with a delicate man, and after this break, a Keenan guest goes one on one with a sexy WNBA star. I like. I think her feelings could use a Dr. volume Shutt, control. As long as we are talking about feelings, I feel that I should tell you the truth. I love you, Dr. Shutt. No, 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 I'm, I'm not. Don't you hear what I'm saying? Uh, I love you, I love you, I love you. Listen, I'm, I'm not doing the sketch, okay? I hate you. Uh, I hate you, I hate you. Don't you understand? I am killing myself trying to make it as an actress in this town. Okay. And I get my big break. I get to do a big sketch with a big TV star such as yourself. And you don't. You like it well, thank you very much, Mr. Adam Arkin. Oh, and George Clooney is so much better looking than you are. It's okay, baby. I'm we'll sorry. try later. No, no, it's fine. Seriously. This has never happened to me before. I, I, I believe you. I, I mean, usually I could, I could hold it. Right. No. Yeah. Let me, let me try. Let me try. Okay. <laughs> Sweetie, we'll just try later. It's okay. I'm so You're the best, baby. You're the best. Friday, a Jerry guest dumps his girlfriend for a transsexual. <sighs> Big deal. That's not even kinky. This is kinky. <gasps> oh, honey, I love you. That's it. No, no, I I'm out of here. No, You're... seriously. Well, excuse me. Hi, how Hi. are you? I'm, I've got to get to work. Okay, just it's, one moment. I just wanted to ask yeah. you uh, about what you're wearing today. Um, I just sort of pulled it out of the thrift store closet and just put it on because I'm just like running around. I've really got to get to work. I'm going to get fired. Oh, vintage. Vintage, vintage. is so hot Vintage is very popular. I'm just really stuck in an edit bay all the time and I don't have a lot. I, I just, I'm afraid I'm going to get fired if I talk to you guys any longer. Are you feeling the excitement um, in the air? I'm feeling tension, a lot of tension, nervousness. Um, my job's at stake, so I'm, I'm feeling that, yeah. Just well, a couple more minutes now. You know, um, we are with you. Best of luck. Thanks. Um, Could you turn and show America yeah, your a outfit? Quick spin. Just, just give a quick, a, spin. a quick spin. Just do it, all right? Just quick. Thank you very, very much. I hate this. There's no reason to, she's, there's no reason to get upset. But you know, the tension gets to people. Well, some people can't handle it. It's time for You Make the Call, sponsored by 3,000 Flushes. 6.30 p.m., Super Bowl Sunday. A group is gathered for guac and conversation. Your girlfriend is gorgeous, witty, and fun. And then, tragedy strikes. Mmm, this is great. Who made the terrific guacamole? Your girlfriend cannot correctly pronounce the word guacamole. I don't think I've ever had such yummy guacamole. In fact, I'm going gauca crazy over this guacamole. Now, come on. Who made the gauk? Do you correct your girlfriend or do you leave her? You make the call. It's time for You Make the Call, sponsored by 3000 Flushes. When we last met, this man was mortified over his girlfriend's Super Bowl faux pas. This is great gaucamole. Avocados are the main ingredient in gaucamole. Did you decide to correct your girlfriend's pronunciation of guacamole? Or did you leave her over the incident? Hey, Missy, you know, you are looking a little fat these days, so you should probably lay off the dip for a while. Using tactics you learned from reading Cosmo, you diverted your girlfriend's attention from the source of the problem, the dip. <laughs> You're right. I really am turning to a cheese ball, aren't I? Thanks for the tip, lover boy. 
Congratulations if you made the right call. When we aired that piece earlier this week, one of our viewers, a Mrs. Jane Boggs from West Lafayette, Indiana, wrote in complaining that it was in poor taste. Here she is with a brief video editorial. Clearly, the objectification of Baywatch star Donna Dierico in your daily show was nothing but a cheap TNA stunt to boost ratings. I've never met Ms. Dierico, but she seems like an intelligent young woman who has more to offer the American public than a shapely rump and ample bosom that seems to defy gravity. Obviously, the people who filmed this sketch were men. Personally, I think Donna could benefit from interacting with her sisters and suffrage women like me who, who appreciate more than a, a well-turned ankle or, or a mane of silky blonde hair or pretty, pretty legs that go on for Thank you. Miles Thank you, Miss Boggs. Thank you very much. That'll be quite enough. Thank you. The following Mike and Maddie highlight features an interview with three astronauts from the Space Shuttle Discovery, namely Mary Ellen Weber, Donald Thomas and Captain Nancy J. Curie. Ladies. Among other things. Honey, do you think I need to lose weight? Do you think I have a fat butt? Well, I I guess you could lose a little. Oh, no, you not. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's what happens when you tell the truth. Now let's revisit that scenario, implementing Gordon Elliott's advice. Honey, do you think I need to lose some weight? Do you think I have a fat butt? Well, I, uh... No, you look fantastic. <laughs> you look great. Why, why are you scratching your nose? Um, gangrene. I've got gangrene. Oh. And from producer Aaron Spelling... Amish day. Amish day. Amish night. Amish night. Where would I be without my whiskers? My whiskers. Come, woman, let us go churn butter. Yes, my husband. Amish days! Judge Ito isn't the only one getting free mugs and other cool stuff in the mail. Bailiff, present Exhibit A. It's a case of a beat of beer from way down south in Louisiana. Now that's one case that won't be dismissed. How about a change of venue? We go to the great state of Washington. They sent us three fine beers. A sixer of Emerald City from Sean Forst and Rick Hutcherson. Another sixer of Yakima Red and a 12 pack of Rainier beer sent by Debbie and Dana Bach, daughters of our own engineer, Peggy Bach. Actually, Ouija boards aren't bad if used properly. In fact, many big businesses have gotten into the act. Honey, what's wrong? Nothing. It's just that I haven't spoken to Dad in ages. <laughs> well, he is dead. I know. Why don't you just. Use the Ouija board. But the rates are so high. Not if he's in our MCI Deceased Friends and Family Calling Circle. Now you can reach your dead dad at 30% savings with NCI Deceased Friends and Family Plan. Hi, Dad. How's death treating you? NCI. You never lied to me! Never! Never! Dad? I think we better move on to the next contestant. You must be Allison, lady who called about moving the couch. Over here. <clears throat> you must be Allison, lady who called about moving the couch. Yes, yes, I did. I need some help with the couch. Okay, first, I'm going to have to move you. <laughs> hey, you want to go out later? <laughs> I wonder where his security guards were when all that was going on. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, look at this. This is absolutely a handcuffs. Well, they're certainly a kinky pair. Careful. You can hurt oneself. Hello. Is everything all right? Can I interest you in our delicious chocolate mousse? Have you ever taken chocolate mousse and rubbed it all over your body and then asked your lover to lick it off? 
I'm sorry? Have you ever taken chocolate mousse and just rubbed it all over your body and then asked your lover to take his tongue and lick it off? The peach cobbler's also very good. Sir Thomas of McNamara. I want to take a breathalyzer test! Susan Sarandon. You blame the government. You blame the network. You blame the opener. You blame the drinks for just being there. What about you? Were you just an innocent? A victim? I want my mom to know I never mixed grape and grain. Truth man, walk it. Uh. I want the last face you see to be the face of sobriety. Let me be your face of sobriety. Drunk man walking. Just when you thought the world had run out of heroes. Stupid car. What's the matter? The stupid piece of junk. It just won't start again. Hmm. Here, take mine. What? I have a brand new car. It starts every time. Take it. Keep it. You're very, uh... Accommodating. <laughs> it was so romantic, we decided to try and reenact it for you. I think it went something like this. Love. Here's a commercial I recently shot for my new fast food chain, Skunkies. Welcome to Skunkies. May I take your order? <laughs> I'd like a skunk burger and some stinky fries. See you. Me too. <laughs> Golly gee, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa. whoa. Want to get uh, wild between the fat sheets? Huh? <laughs> wait a minute. Once you've had cape, you'll never escape. 